Right, hello, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. My name is Paul, I'm also called Knickknack, and if you're watching this, you're watching this on my blog, Knickknack's Old Peculiar, or on my YouTube channel, Mr. Cuddy2977. Hello, welcome, wherever you are. Please subscribe, please hit the notification bell, and please put some money in my tip jar if you can find it. I'll try and put other stuff up there if possible. Now, I've been on YouTube for way longer than I care to admit to, and I've had at least one person asking me about the videos I record, the raw footage I record, as that raw footage tends to be quite large in terms of gigabytes for the length and resolution. There's possibly a very good metaphor, at least for those of us that remember certain old-fashioned videos. But give me a, just to give you a little bit of a explanation, most modern digital videos usually come in various different formats. Uh, MKV, MOV, MP4, WMV, AVI, .divx, um, .ts is quite a rare one and quite high capacity. Those are what's called wrapper or container files, they're like a video cassette. Keep that metaphor in mind. Those wrapper files contain video and audio tracks that I've heard called codecs after the coder decoder software or hardware that produces them. In other words, and as I've already said, they're like old fashioned video cassettes. The file format, MKV, MOV, MP4, whatever you're talking about here, is like the cassette with a film on it, or home recordings in this case. It's VHS, V2000, Betamax, whatever. The codex, the video and audio tracks uh, in the file, are like the video and audio signals on the tape in the cassette. That's the codex on there, on the, ca on the tape. The tape and the cassette is the wrapper file, dot move, dot what have you, whatever it is you're happening to be recording in. Uh, I personally use, I've got a Mac, so I use the dot MOV format with Apple ProRes 422 video codec and linear PCM audio codecs. That's what the signals are made with. That's like the video and audio signals in the cassette. <laughs> It means that by the end of it, I have quite a large file in terms of raw footage, but with slightly poorer color, color than my Max onboard 720 camera, but I get a lot less speckling used with the green screen that you may or may not be able to see behind me, and a higher resolution, so it tends to be quite large. Usually it's about a gigabyte a minute or so. But like I said, I've also got a very old school friend who is also a YouTuber, but he uses different codecs. He gets the same sort of resolution movie, but as he doesn't get, as he doesn't use green screen, he feels he gets a as good quality picture from his codecs. But, and more importantly for him, his footage will take up a lot less space. It's, there's pros and cons to both argument. I have slightly better quality, but it is large files. He gets arguably just as good quality, but uses a lot less space. Whatever works for you is whatever is good for you and good for him and good for me. But remember, MOV and MKV and whatever else you find, that's the cassette, the codex, like the cassette tape. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it makes everything perfectly clear. And I hope things are now a lot less muddy. Have a good day. Happy belated Halloween. Do take care of yourself. <laughs>